This is a demo of Ira Technologies RAN GPT. It's an intent-based platform to observe, analyze, control, and automate the network. And in this demo, we are generating data where the RAN itself is being emulated by a VRV RAN emulator that's pumping a lot of KPIs and PM data into VMware's non-real-time RIC and SMO. And we are extracting that data. And on the platform itself, when the user types any query, we enhance the query, make it very telco specific by adding guardrails, definitions, operating procedures, and then the code that then gets generated by the LLM is very telco specific and does not have any hallucinations. So let's go through the demo to see what we mean by that. Let's start with something very simple. Just observe what's there in the underlying database. If you remember, the database is uh, uh, filled with KPIs that are being generated by uh, VRV's uh, TerraVIA. So let's type something simple like plot the energy consumption of all the sites and visualize it on a per band basis. So that's what is gonna, whichever way you want to type it. So as you can see, he typed something very simple. All human beings can understand this, but to make a computer system understand it wasn't easy until the advent of LLMs. Now you can just convert something like this into code. So uh, a term like energy consumption has been mapped to a very specific column called PE average power because that's where our telco translator is enhancing the query. And what it's then going to do is it's going to write code that will generate the plot that we needed because we wanted to plot the energy consumption per site. It is writing the code and then that code is then run on the underlying data lake and then that's what will generate the plot. So let's wait for that. Okay, so that's the final code and that's the plot it generated. It's showing the full energy consumption on a per site, per band basis. And you can add this to your dashboard because the code is yours. As long as this code is run on the data lake, every time the data lake refreshes, your figure will also refresh. So you have your instant dashboard that's going to get refreshed every time. So coming back, so that's kind of simple observation on visualization of your data. You can also add advanced functionalities like you can predict certain KPIs, you can analyze certain things. So Ihan will type now uh, a query on predicting the energy consumption of, let's say, site five. Let's say we want to predict what's going to happen to each of the band's energy consumption for the next two hours. You can do that uh, using uh, RAN GPT directly. So here, the idea here is that you can use tools and other machine learning models that have been written and stored you can use that as part of your natural language query. So all we needed to give it is a readme file to understand the function, the inputs and the outputs that are associated with the, with the, uh, the function itself. And it's able to use it in as part of the code that it's writing. So when, you, when the code comes out, you can see that it's already using that mltool.ts predict in the right way to generate the plot that it's about to generate. Okay, so that's the plot, uh, that's the code. It's gonna run the code on the data lake and, and generate the plot. So the code is here and the plot is here. So energy consumption of site five and also prediction of that into the future and ability to use tools. So the last aspect we want to showcase is how do you build apps? How do you put these things together? How do you observe and then observe certain metrics, put certain thresholds on it, and then go from there to certain actions? So, Nihan is going to type. We are going to observe the capacity band and the coverage band, the PRB utilization of that, set certain thresholds, and if those thresholds are met, we are going to shut down a band. So, that's the app that he's going to write. So it's going to observe the PRB utilization of N29 and N71 bands for all the sites. Then 
if certain events are met or certain thresholds are met that is if the downlink prb utilization of n29 is less than 80 and of n71 is less than 30 if those events are met then shut down the n29 band it's a simple automation something that you got out of your insights and let's say if you want to create an app out of that you just run it it's going to go through step by step write the code for it and then not only write code but also wrap it up into an app that can be deployed automatically in an SMO. So it's writing the code now. Okay, so it wrote the code and not just write the code, but it also runs it on the digital twin, the VRV's digital twin, so that we understand how it's running and is it doing the right thing. And then finally, for the things that meet the threshold, it's, it's issuing the action of shutting down the bands. So then it's saying, it's going to encapsulate all of this into a full function that can be converted into an app. Okay, there's the function. We also have a capability of reviewing it. We won't do that as part of this demo, but we can just build it. So it's building the app now and it's going to deploy it on VMware's non-real-time basis. If we go to the non-real-time rig, there's no app here, but if you refresh it, there'll be a new app that was generated just now and it's still booting. So that's app generation directly using an intent-based platform. Thanks, everybody.